fans. Uh, presenting the Radio T uh, with James, who's normally presenter, <laughs> uh, well, obviously, you know, of the Monday Night Show. Me to do his to be a Borough fan. Many memories, James, before you go into it? Yeah, loads. Um, I've been going to Borough matches now since 1976, so yeah. fair fair few memories, yeah. Before Good and bad. Born, Good and bad, mate. That's yeah. mental. That's before <laughs> I was even born, you know, that. You were born in 94, so 94, you've seen a fair oh, few memories before then. Yeah, oh, loads. Promotions, relegations. Showing your age a bit here, mate. Yeah, I know, that's it, yeah. <laughs> uh, but yeah, a lot of good times, mainly good times, because at the end of the day, I think going to football is about being with mates, family, sharing good times and that, and share the balance. That's what, it, isn't That's it? what it's that's all it, about. Absolutely. So first question is, what made you become a Borough fan, mate? Uh, I had no choice in the matter. It was my dad. Uh, really? No choice in the matter whatsoever. I'm the eldest in my family, so I think he made sure I was going to be a Borough fan. Oh, yeah. So I was taking my first match when I was three years old. Same so with me, mate. Yeah, so there you go. So I had no choice in the matter. My first game, it wasn't a, a first team game either. It was a friendly against Hearts. Um, oh, nice one. Played Hearts in a friendly. Um, Stan Cummins, uh, some viewers might remember. Jack Charlton said he was going to become the first million pound player. He played his first ever game for Borough that day. Not, not that I can was remember anything about well? it. No, it was at Ayrson Park. Oh, really? Um, so 1976, that was my first ever game watching the Borough. We win. We won three 0 apparently. Yeah, oh, can't nice remember one. anything at all about it, mate. No, but yeah, that's class, but yeah, isn't it? Yeah, what, that's my oh, first game. Yeah. Next one is, who's been your favourite player of all time? Oh, it's a tough one to answer that because I think when you you follow different teams, you have different players you like from different generations. So mm. you've got like Mowbray, um, obviously Ripley, I liked in that yeah. team. Gary Parkinson was a favourite from that team. And then you go a few years further on and you have players like Janino, world-class players, yeah, uh, um, Emerson, Rav, all like unbelievable, Alan Boxic, players that you thought you'd never, ever see playing for the Borough. Um, so there's like a, a whole different race, but it, it, probably the player that entertained me the most and I think we'll never, ever see the like again in the Borough shirt was Janino. He was class one. Yeah, he, he, was, he was quality. magician and uh, it was a privilege to watch him play for the Borough. Unreal, unreal. The next one then is most memorable match you've ever been to, mate. Again, different generations, different things, different eras. Um, I think the ultimate for Borough fans is obviously winning the Carling Cup, because again, that was just we actually won a major yeah. trophy mm -hmm. to be there. So many people had gone to matches for years and years, never seen it happen. So to be there on the day when it did happen, you felt oh, unreal, Someday, absolutely it? amazing. Uh, but there's been games before that which were maybe not as big as that, but were better matches. I think um, I always go back to the Bradford City playoff games in 1988. So that was at Ayrson Park and it was a semi final. We played Bradford already three times that year, lost home and away to them in the league, lost the first leg at Bradford, yet we beat them in the second leg and went through to the playoff final where we beat Chelsea, which again is another great memory. So, yeah, th they're the, probably the two games out of all. I'd probably have to pick the Carling Cup final win, but that Bradford second leg playoff game was. Uh, Did you go to all the amazing. cup finals as well at Wembley? Went to all, I've been to all the cup the finals. Yeah, yeah. Against the Borough and yeah, your heart sank when that went in that day. Ben Roberts straight over his head. Yeah. And just like, you just thought things couldn't get any worse after getting relegated the week before at Leeds, and then no, 40 great. seconds of your first ever FA Cup final, you're a goal down. You're just like, oh. Triangle corner flags going straight out the window. Yeah, yeah that's a Borough fan. There's a Borough fan's <laughs> life there, in that Borough one week. Fan. Yeah. Oh, well, well, your next one might be a bit. Uh, Nicer. Favourite Borough goal, mate? Favourite Borough goal? Um, again, there's been some great goals over the years. You've had um, Joseph Jobs' goal against uh, Sport in Lisbon in the Europa League with overhead kick. Unreal. Unbelievable Unreal. goal. Uh, Jimmy Floyd Hasselbank's free kick at Man City where he nearly snapped, uh, snapped the crossbar when he absolutely leathered that in. Um, but for me, the best ever all goal for Borough, like all team goal, yeah. all, was uh, Janino against Chelsea. We beat 1-0 in the league. I think he was involved in the move with Mikkel Beck, um, and he finished off with a diving header. Do you know, yeah. you're a diving header, and just like that was just an unbelievable. Quite goal. a famous goal that one, isn't yeah, it? It always yeah. gets replayed, doesn't it? Yeah, that one. That, that's the best goal, team goal I've seen for the Borough. Um, goal, um, so yeah, that's finish. my favourite all-time goal. Brilliant, mate. Favourite, um, but oh, should I say sorry? There, I've messed it up there. I said most memorable match. I said favourite Borough goal. Yeah. Best away day, mate. Best away day. Um, I mean. There's a lot of grounds I like going to. I like going to Hillsborough, Sheffield Wednesday. I like going yeah. there. It's like an old school ground. Goodison Park at Everton's like that as well. Very old school. People might say, oh, it's falling to bits and that. But I think a lot of new stadiums now are all like the same type thing. Same, yeah. I like going to the older type grounds. So I like Hillsborough. I like Goodison. Um, so they're like probably two of my favourites then. Mm. Yeah, they're two ones I like going Hillsborough's to. Hillsborough's a great stadium. I'd yeah. say, I'd like to say, man, 
good spot I've ever done, but yeah. those were just for the history yeah. of it yeah. and everything yeah. else. Yeah, and you get a de- you normally get a decent allocation when you go there, so you can have like a good following of Borough fans, and it's not too far to go. Yeah, so so yeah, it's I like decent. going there, yeah. Mate, favourite ever Borough kit now, James has got how many kits for the last 30 years, every oh, single I think one? I've got more or less nearly all the home and away kits for yeah, so yeah. at the same time. My wife's not happy about it, like, she kicks off, the like, and stuff, yeah, yeah, yeah. The washing machine's full of them and oh, all sorts, mate. yeah, can't move in our house, but yeah, um, yeah, butter kits for me, I think ideally for me, the butter top should be a home shirt, should be red with the white band across, that's my favourite butter home kit when they do it that way, yeah. uh, and away kits, I like the old black and blue stripes, Class. so into Milan, so, Class. They're my, they're my two favourite type Borough kits, yeah. Oh, mint, mate. Um, saddest moment as a Borough fan. Now, you've been going against for a long time, <laughs> so you've probably had a fair yeah, view, there's mate. Been, there's a few, like you say, relegations are always an absolute downer. There's been a few. Um, members getting relegated at Shrewsbury, which then that summer we went into liquidation. So then we didn't nearly have a club to support. So, I mean, that's like the absolute ultimate as a football fan. You don't... Yeah. You, what would you mean. do if your club went out of business? So that's one, like you say, there's been a lot of relegations, there's been cup final losses... Um, so they're all sad things, uh, but I think if you maybe bring it down to a personal level, things like um, Ugo Ekiog when he passed away, stuff like that, and um, yeah. Gary Parkinson with his illness and, and things like that, that sort of like brings it over you. Well. Ali Brownlee, yeah. stuff like that, and you just think the football club means a lot to a hell of a lot of people, and those three people there have given us a lot of pleasure over the years, and y- you feel like you're losing someone from your family when you something do, like you that, do, that happens do. or when they become ill, you, you take it personally, it upsets you. So they're probably the saddest moments. Relegations, you can come back the next year and try and get promoted, can't you? In cup finals, you can, Another well, I don't know if we can win, but yeah. <laughs> but yeah, they're, they're, they're different. And you, you get knocked out of shape a bit for a, a week or two when you get mm. uh, you lose a game. But in the grand scheme, I think it's not all that important, yeah, is it? It's not all that bad, is it? Oh, well, now we're going to be a bit more cheerful. Go Funniest on, moment as a Borough fan, Funniest mate. moment. Um, had a few good away days. Uh, going with mates that uh, I go to the matches with. Um, went to Yeovil a few years ago. It was last game of the season. Went on an overnighter and um, we stopped at one hotel for the Friday night and we were moving to another one for the Saturday night because there wasn't the room there. Oh. One of the lads in our party misbehaved a little bit on the Friday night and uh, ended up getting chucked out the pub that was joining the hotel. So we just thought the next day what we'll do is we'll ring ahead to the hotel and just say, look, we're not going to be allowed in the next night, but on like a bit of a joke type thing. So we sent the lad up to get in to the hotel, got there on the Saturday after the game, we'd won 4 1. Not letting us in the hotel. Like, what's going on? Not letting us in the hotel. Uh, didn't want to say anything, he just said it was because of someone's behaviour last night. Well, we knew no. it was his. And he's just sitting around, he said, I think I saw a hotel further down the road. It had a few vacancies, well, we all told him where to go. So it's a long way home from Yeovil now. Saturday night, we haven't got a hotel. Let it go on for about five minutes or so, and he was like getting really panicky and all that. And we just like, we all burst out laughing. <laughs> Said, ah, it's all right, it's all been <laughs> sorted. We are allowed in here, we're just winding you up. Class, so, there's that. And then, um, again, I, I go to the away match. I have the privilege of going to the away matches with uh, the Wheelies and Paddy Cronesbury and the gang. Absolutely fantastic. And um, first time I went with them, went to um, Accrington pre season this year. Mm. And the beers were getting handed around the bus. We hadn't even left Thornaby. And I'm like thinking, well, I don't want to look a bit of a lightweight here, so I'm going to have to start drinking. Drinking away, well, we get the leads, I'm creased up, sort of thing. And I'm thinking, there's got to be a toilet stop soon. Well, there wasn't a toilet stop, was it? We just carried all the way to Wackrington, and oh, like, mate. I was absolutely creased. I was like, in, like desperately in the toilet by the time we got to Wackrington. So they all had a good laugh at me on the bus, like, because they didn't need to go to the toilet, did they? Oh, man. So I, I was just schoolboy bo- school error on my part. Schoolboy? So schoolboy, so just yeah. Just going in a can of yeah. <laughs> Absolutely. I think everybody else would have done one. Great you? days out with the wheelies. Fantastic uh, group of supporters, Class. yeah. And uh, the last one, mate. What is a team that you absolutely love to beat? <sighs> At the minute, you're just happy to beat anybody, aren't you, really? <laughs> but um, <sighs> I think, ultimately, I like to beat Sunderland because yeah. they're like the nearest club to us. So Sunderland's always the one that you want to beat. Desperate to beat Sunderland. Um, Looking a bit further afield, I don't really like Chelsea, so I'm always pleased when we beat you know. Chelsea. No, I've got no time for Chelsea Imagine after the FA Cup, final and Cup finals and playoff games and stuff like that. So I'd always like to beat Chelsea whenever you get the chance to play them. But um, yeah, they're the two with me. Probably Sunderland first and Chelsea, mate. Oh, well. yeah. James, thanks very much, mate. You're Thank welcome. you very much. Nice Thank one. You. Thank you very much. <laughs>